the market is kind of crazy right now, so I'm gonna give you guys some easy no-brainer plays that are still available on the Pokemon Center. Now, don't scroll away, don't scroll away. I'm gonna explain myself. Starting off with the Twilight Masquerade ETB, the Pokemon Center exclusive. Let me just explain, don't, you know, don't freak out yet. These are $60, these are still available. You can get these in a purchase limit of four, which would get you a sealed case, okay? Now, the reason I bring this up is the promo. The promo is 20 bucks right now, it's on the rise. 20 bucks, however, last sold are 28, 29, 30, which is half, 30 is half the price of the box, okay? The Pokemon, the stamped promos are highly desirable, even though this is not a highly desirable Pokemon, okay? The lesser stamps are gonna catch up, but the real reason why you might want to consider scooping this up is the PSA 10 prices. Now, I am well aware that not every you know, box is gonna have a PSA 10 copy. But just just keep this in mind. $200 last sold, $200 last sold. There is a $31 last sold, which is a little odd, but that was well over a month before this sale. And there was some cheaper sales. However, the last ones have all been 200, 215. So maybe take it with a grain of salt, but Twilight Masquerade, the set, doing pretty decent. Boxes are doing decent, Greninja's doing well. So it could be a maybe open one or two, try and grade them, right? And keep the other ones sealed. It's up to you guys, but this is just an option. I got more coming, but I just wanted to present this as an option. Before we go any farther, if you are new to the channel, I will be doing a giveaway. We're getting kind of close to 10,000 subscribers. We're gonna be doing a three winners, Surging Sparks booster box, Japanese 151 box, and a PSA 10 over $100 in value. To enter, you will need to be subscribed, and I will make a dedicated video that will come out when we're a little closer to 10K on exactly how to enter, but you will need to be subscribed in order to win. That, So that is why I bring that up. Um, but back to what is available at Pokemon Center. Now, this has been on here for a long time. I don't know how long it's gonna be on. It's, it's kind of a joke, but not really. Silver Tempest is still available on the US Pokemon Center for 143 a box. The purchase limit is four, unfortunately, so you cannot get a sealed case. And this one has a little bit of an asterisk by it. Pokemon Center shipping usually isn't very good, so these boxes could come a little banged up. It's been mixed results. I've I've seen some, some of mine before in the past. Yeah, not the best. Some people in the comments, when I've mentioned this before though, they have had good good results and boxes came in totally clean so you'll have to roll the dice on that but the reason i bring this up is because these are 166 dollars on tcg player they have a, it has a great chase the lugia lugia is a very popular pokemon this is the lugia set right 166 a box we'll zoom out to the one year just kind of take a look at it real quick it was 167 over here so it's it's holding pretty steady at that 165, 166 mark. So you're already up automatically by getting these boxes. I think that Silver Tempest is kind of an underrated set. However, there, there is a reason why it's been on the Pokemon Center for so long. So once again, maybe take it with a little bit of a grain of salt, but I, li I like Silver Tempest a lot. Okay, next up, this is a common theme, obviously. PC ETBs that are still available. Stellar Crown, whether you like the set or not, it's got a nice promo, the Noctowl. Noctowl's doing 35 bucks, ungraded. Okay, that's over half of the cost of your ETB. If you need, even if you just wanna sell the, the stamped promo and just rip the packs, makes them a lot more affordable. Okay, but once again, PSA 10 prices is kinda why we're here. 165, 178, 180, 170, 200. A lot more consistent on the prices on the Noctowl. So this could be another thing. You can order your uh, set of four, get a sealed case, divvy it up however you want, keep them all sealed, open them all. You know you have a chance to grade those cards. It costs. It, you don't. You no longer need a expensive PSA membership. You can just go to GameStop, and drop off your cards. It's fifteen bucks a card. So grading is a lot more accessible now. So that's uh, part of why I bring this up. Uh, PSA ten. This is. Easy money here. Next up, same thing, Shrouded Fable. Okay, 
Shrouded Fable, not the most popular of sets. I get it, I get it. But let's let's look at the promo before we judge it, right? Promo's doing 25. Last sold 34. There is a 38 in here, a 40. So people like the stamp promo. It doesn't matter what you do, right? That people like it. You can grade it 145, 150, 160, 160, 220 for the Petrant. Um, these are available. Purchase limit of four, right? So this would be, you know, as it's not as strong of a set, probably one of my least desirable options personally. I would probably lean, I'd lean Silver Tempest as one of my leads. Then I like probably the Stellar Crown. I do like the Noctowl a lot. Then I go back to Twilight Masquerade, I think, kind of where I'm landing. And then I would do Shrouded probably last uh, if I had to rank them. Now, I realize that this video and the topic, everything about it, uh, probably not going to do the best view-wise. Uh, I get that. But I do think that this is relevant information uh, for people out there, maybe maybe newer. Maybe if you're just a little bit newer, you're just getting in. You know, you don't know the... Because right now the market is so crazy that these are good deals. Those stamped promos probably will continue to rise in value as well, even if you don't do anything with them. So it's uh, just a little play. There are plays to be made. Uh, at MSRP, which is kind of going to be a thing moving forward with like Prismatic. Hopefully you can go to your local Targets, Walmarts when that releases and get those boxes at MSRP, which will be a steal at the time because unfortunately pre-orders and stuff are going really high. Um, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just had a quick Pokemon Center plays that can be made. Um, like I said, video's probably not going to do very good, but I just wanted to get that information out there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.